through paint 2 is a complete overhaul of my old extension uh, Fredo tools through paint. Uh, free through paint 2 is now a standalone extension that is an extension on its own uh, and it has a new UI and some uh, new features. The toolbar of through paint uh, is now like this. So you have four functionalities. Uh, you can paint faces, you can paint edges, you can paint over uh, objects, group component, text label, and dimensions. And something new, you can now assign edge properties to edge using the same metaphor as the through paint. Each of these icons will pop up a dialogue. Uh, when you paint, uh, you'll have a material browser, which is now embedded in the dialog, and you retrieve the various options. Note that equivalent to clicking here on, on an icon of a uh, through paint, for example, for painting edge, you can also use the tabs in the uh, dialog. Through paint is based on uh, two principles. First, you can paint across the boundaries of groups and components. So here you have uh, uh, groups at uh, several levels. Uh, so if you want to paint this face or this one, okay, you just click and the face uh, is painted uh, without opening uh, the groups and uh, components. The second principle is uh, the drag painting. That is, if you click down on a, a face and uh, the, f the face is painted and if now you move the mouse uh, while the button is still down, you paint uh, the adjacent uh, faces. Note that when you paint with a material which has a texture, uh, this also ensures a continuity of the texturing. With through paint, like uh, also the old uh, through paint embedded in uh, Fredo tools, uh, for material with texture, you can edit them. Uh, and you can uh, move uh, texture, rotate them, and also uh, scale uh, them. There are three different uh, UV uh, modes, uh, which is mesh, natural, and uh, projected. Uh, we'll go uh, through it in a separate uh, video, but basically, these options for those who have been using through paint uh, before uh, are almost uh, the same. When you use through paint, the dialog box is taking some real estate uh, on on the the screen, and therefore uh, you can and this is the default behavior. Uh, hide it automatically when you paint. So when you paint, for example, you click on a face, the dialog will disappear and you will retrieve something uh, which you are uh, uh, familiar with, which is a, b a more compact uh, button palette uh, at the top where you can uh, change uh, all the uh, options, okay, as if you were in the dialog box. So. You can use tab to toggle between the visibility of the dialog and the palette. Uh, you can also click in the empty space uh, to achieve the same thing. Uh, if you paint automatically, then uh, the dialog will disappear. So you see more uh, what you paint uh, in the model. 
for those who have a very large screen, uh, there is an option to keep the dialog uh, constantly open unless you press uh, tab. The material browser which is embedded now in uh, Full Paint is very similar to the uh, one you find uh, at least uh, on the Windows version of uh, SketchUp. So you have the current material which is uh, here and you have, depending on which folder you are in, uh, you are in a uh, you have the, the available uh, texture, which are not necessary in the model. Okay, so uh, compared to the default uh, material browser of uh, SketchUp, uh, you have so first uh, you can retrieve the uh, materials which are in your model. Okay, pretty much like in uh, SketchUp. Uh, these are the, the same uh, uh, materials. Second, you have uh, what I call color fans, which are available in uh, another extension of uh, Fredo Tools, uh, which is called uh, uh, Color Paint. Uh, so you have a set of uh, colors which are uh, taken from uh, various uh, sources uh, where you, uh, for example, if you want Dulux uh, or you want uh, uh, RAL, okay, so all these colors are available. This is lighter than uh, in the native SketchUp because you don't have to really to load uh, these material in your environment. Uh, they are just uh, define color in a text files and uh, you can uh, use them and of course as soon as you select them they become a material in the model okay now this color is is in the model okay you have a concept of favorites so if for example you want this f color to be a favorite one you just drag and it becomes favorite. Let's say this one as well. And now if you go to favorite, you retrieve uh, a number of uh, favorite uh, materials. The favorites are independent uh, from the model. Okay, so uh, this can be convenient if you want to reuse some materials from models to uh, models. Okay. Uh, and the last thing is you have a search. Uh, for example, if you want to uh, search through, let's say, carpet, okay, so you just type carpet and you see here all the uh, uh, materials which have carpet in, uh, in their name. Okay, there are other uh, things. Uh, like you, you can also adjust the size uh, of the of the thumbnails and so on. But uh, I think I'll make a separate video to go through uh, the uh, material browser. In Through Paint uh, 2, I have added uh, the possibility to. Uh, use the same metaphor for tags or, or layers uh, for older versions of SketchUp. Uh, so you can uh, assign tags to uh, element faces or edges, uh, either uh, in conjunction with materials. Okay, so you enable here and you choose a, a tag, uh, or alone. That is, you disable the material and, uh, for example, you paint uh, this uh, face, you assign this face to a tag. Uh, so, uh, the tag chooser is uh, very simple. Uh, for recent version of SketchUp, uh, tag folders are, are supported. Uh, when you assign with material, it means that uh, when, for example, here this uh, blue 
material is, a, is associated with uh, tag one. Okay, so every time I will choose uh, this material, automatically uh, I will paint with a tag. Normally, it is not advised to assign uh, tags to uh, faces and edges, but there are cases uh, or ways to uh, model where it can be uh, convenient and therefore you have this association. I'll probably make a separate video on this feature, but in most cases you can uh, ignore it and just uh, disable the tag uh, painting. The last topic of this video is about edge uh, properties. So uh, this is this tab. So the principle is that uh, you will uh, select uh, edges. So it's good to set the property filter uh, accordingly. So let's say I want to s the possibility to select any edge. And then uh, you decide, uh, for example, to say I want uh, the the edge which are painted uh, in uh, soft and smooth. Okay, so if you do that, uh, they will be in soft and smooth. Uh, actually, let's put them in hard. It's it will be easier to visualize. Okay, and of course, if you drag, you can also uh, paint the adjacent uh, edges. Okay, so same metaphor as for painting faces, but here to assign uh, properties to edges.